You know, I always wondered why it was called the SSN. And you know, I still don't get it. And frankly, I think it's a holocaust joke. <laughs> hey everybody, Chris Zio here and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Red. I'm Chris Zio and I'm still thinking of a better username. Last time we did a lot of level grinding, now bear with me, but there's just a little more level grinding to do. If I go here, I took the liberty of leveling up Oddish. So, it's at level 20, and for those of you who are avid Pokemon fans, know that at the next level, Oddish will level up and... Well, I won't spoil it. So, just watch the Poisoned Mankey. As I steal his health in more ways than one. I sucked its health, and Oddish becomes level 21. And with attack 31, blah blah blah, everything else, Oddish, what? Oddish is evolving! Doo doo, Oddish evolved into gloom. It's, it, it's like a rhyme. Dun dun dun, Oddish evolved into gloom. Ah. Okay, well, sadly, I don't think I actually need Gloom for any of the upcoming gems. So sad times, but I know for a fact that I do need Pidgeotto. So, I think I'll start off with Squirts. Now, as most of you know, I need to start out by going here to the SSN. Welcome to the SSN! How tough are you? How tough am I? I beat the Elite Four! So what? Without any saves in between. Okay, go right in! And that's how I got into the Salty Spit- uh, I mean SSN. Okay, so if we go here, there are lots of rooms for different trainer battles, but I find no need to go to them, so... Let's go straight to the point, and listen to the serene music. It's so cool, but now, I always wondered why this was called Vermilion Town. It's because this vermin is vermin enough for millions. Bonjour, Fred! Bonjour, Red! Imagine seeing you here! Red, were you really invited? So how's your Pokedex coming? I already caught 40 kinds, pal! Different kinds are everywhere! Call around in grassy areas! And we go on to another trainer battle. Our third with Blue. Now notice how he has four Pokemon. Yeah, totally, you totally caught 40. I totally believe you. Totally, totally, totally. The totally counter. Totally. Yeah, so this should be pretty easy because I really high level grinded with my Pokemon, so. Squirts is just gonna gain some power. Oh! Hey, Blue, where's your Raticate? I hear it died. Ha! Creepypastas, theories. It's just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. And now here's my fake exit. Yes! And now Squirts grew to level 30. Yeah, it's pretty easy. I think I'll send out, as bad of an idea as this is, I'm gonna send out Gloom, because he needs some time. Okay, how about... Ah, uh, in hindsight, I shouldn't have done this. You shouldn't have done that. Da, 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 da. 
Yeah, I know it's super effective, whatever. I just want to get Gloom some experience. Because really, level 21's not that good. <sighs> Go squirt! Oh. Oh. War turtle? Darn it. Squirtle, that's it. Go Squirtle with a wing cap. Just spam water gun. Yay. Okay, Ivysaur. This is what Pidgeotto's for. It may be a little higher than Pidgeotto level wise, but I've got gut. I've got gust. I gust. Oh, that was a bad joke. I I shouldn't have done that. I'm I'm just gonna edit that out. Okay, so. Just a little more and Ivysaur should be done. A little more. A little more. Silver. It's no use! Yes, use Growl. That will get you everywhere. In hindsight, it might actually be it. You monster! Of course. Of course you would have that. I'm using sand attack. <laughs> ha! It failed. You failed. I sure could use a critical. Critical, please. Critical. I want a critical. Come on, it's been seven minutes exactly. Yes, critical. And Pidgeotto levels up to level 19. And red defeated blue, even though technically that's red which stands for fire and blue which stands for water and everyone knows that water beats fire, so I don't know how that makes sense, but whatever. And he's being stupid with his smell you later thing. Warg, I feel hideous. Ugh, seasick. Ooh, I rubbed the captain's back. Rub, 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 rub. <gasps> it's the captain! It's the captain from uh, that water place that I was just at in in Super Mario 64. That I can't remember the name of. Whatever that place is called. And also the name of Cap'n from Animal Crossing. I'm gonna reference him in every episode from now on. And Gloom is actually an HM slave. Sorry for you people who- Oh no, that's not what I meant to do! That is not- Whoa. Oh, that stinks. That really stinks. You have no idea how much that stinks. I could reset, but that would take the fun out of it. So, let's just go on. Running for miles. <laughs> Running for miles. I actually uh, run track. It's kind of a hobby of mine. I haven't in a while, though, because as stupid as it sounds, I, I don't really like running in the summer. It's too hot. I prefer running in the winter. You know, like, short sleeve shirt and all blizzard. That's more my style. Huh. So sorry I haven't updated in a while. I, uh... I've been lazy. <laughs> you thought I was gonna have an actual excuse, didn't you? Ah, uh, too bad. Well, let's go this way. And... Over here is a little tree that you may have noticed before, which I'm not going to cut down. Ha! You thought I was going to cut it down. Well, you're wrong. I'm going to go heal at the Pokemon Center 64DS 
Tribe seven stars of the nine tailed fox. And somehow I put Naruto into that. Okay. So it's been 10 minutes. So now would be. It's been 10 minutes and 13 seconds. 14 seconds. 16 seconds. 17. So I should probably end it off here. But I just used a hack. As it said, so I'm just gonna continue. Champ in the making, LT Surge has a nickname. People refer to him as the Lightning American. He's an expert on electric Pokemon. Birds and water Pokemon are at risk here, so basically all of my Pokemon. Beware of paralysis too. LT Surge is very cautious. You'll have to break a code to get to him. Well, that seems a little unfair now, isn't it? Nope, only trash. 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 Yeah, this is kinda... kinda... stupid. Oh. Yeah, so basically we have to find the, uh... pieces that go together. Well, not really pieces, but... trash cans. Okay, so let's see. What are the odds that it's this one? How much are you willing to bet it's the one above me? Oh yeah! First try! Okay, so, once you get those, then it opens up, and now we get to fight the war hero. Hey kid, what you think you're doing here? You won't live long in combat, that's for sure. <laughs> I tell you, Kid Electric Pokemon saved me during the war. They zap my enemies into paralysis. The same is all due to you. Excuse me, sir, that's a threat. I could have you reported for that. And so he starts out with a level 21 Voltorb. Not that much of a challenge, unless he paralyzes it. Okay. Yeah, you just. You, you gain more speed while I kill your Voltorb. Oh yes, and then use Tackle. On my water type. Okay, so Pikachu. Oh jeez, Pikachu, you need to work out, you're fat. Oh. Wait, why didn't it show up before that? Oh, Thundershock! That was not at all as bad as I thought it would be. Now, if I'm correct, he has three Pokemon. And the last one is Raichu. Now, this one's pretty hard. And that's why! Okay, so I had 68. Holy critical! Uh, go Gloom. This makes me a little gloomy. <coughs> of course it's a critical. Didn't affect it. Uh... I'm trying again. And it worked. Wow. Okay, so it did work. You lied. Okay, so Thunderbolt should not be that much. Okay, so at this point, I just have to outlive it. Hey, man, you better back off or I'm a HMO1 you. I'm a cut you. Okay, 34, 17. Uh, at this rate, he'll beat me with the next hit. Oh, yeah, I can do math, by the way. So. Potion. Potion. No. Okay, potion. Skimmed over it, but. Okay. Oh, yeah. Use X speed because that will help you when you're already faster than me. What is wrong with this guy? Really? Okay, cut. I should be able to last without using another item because he does 17. And he's definitely going down in the next turn. So, just a little more. 
You idiot! Why would you use Growl? What is wrong with him? Yeah, you bet on the real deal. Oh, so it's kind of funny. Uh, yeah, it's talking about Fly, blah blah blah, HM, the most useful HM, but whatever. Uh, teach it to electric Pokemon, whatever. And we have our third badge, just so you know. I'm just skyrocketing along, and I didn't mean to save my game. Okay, well, now... Huh. <sighs> so long, Jim. So anyway, it's kind of funny. I uh, just got Pokemon Green, the Japanese version of Pokemon Green, the beta Japanese version of Pokemon Red, and a Japanese version of Pokemon Yellow from eBay, and the Pokemon Green version actually started me right at this gym. And let me tell you, it was a lot easier on this when I could actually tell what I was doing than it was on the other one. Because trust me, unless you know Japanese, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> Okay, so it's been about 16 and a half minutes. I should end it off here. But if you're looking at the little bar on the bottom that tells you how long is left, then you'll know I'm not stopping here. I'm going for a longer episode. Because I haven't done that for Red recently. Because I've been lazy. But now I feel like being the opposite of lazy. I'm being- wait, did I heal? Yes. I'm being productive! Oh, by the way, about the HM cut, there is one glitch associated with it, where if you use cut, obviously, and you go right here, and you save, again, I'm probably going to regret saving, if you save right on top of it and then reset, then the game will uh, automatically spawn you on top of another tree. So, coolness. You have Pokemon with you. You're mine. Uh, I don't know you. Not that I have a problem with you being my girlfriend, because you look like a cute junior trainer, but... I, I don't think I can get into your oddish ways. Okay, so let's just send out Pidgeotto. <sighs> I wish I had Absorb. It's not very effective. And this should probably 2KO it or so. Or 3KO it. Darn it, Pidgeotto, why can't you be an overachiever? Like me. I'm an overachiever. Be like your master! The best kind of master. I am fully, of course. Absorb. Fully paralyzed. Critical. Fully paralyzed. Darn it. Finally. Critical! You deserved that! <sighs> Healing. And let me tell you, if he paralyzes me again. Well, I did say paralyzed. I said nothing about poison. That was my fault. Okay, so, ah! Uh, he's not a rapper! He's a bell sprout, save me! No! You are not using sleep powder. I'm going to murder you with gust, and you will like it! You piece of poop. 
I'm beginning to think it would just be better. Oh yeah, level 20. Uh, I'm beginning to think it would just be better to use Squirts. Squirts is reliable. Unlike some Pidgeotto. I mean, really. Look at him. Pidgeotto, you're mean. Okay, so bite. I'm gonna take a bite out of you. And I'm gonna do a lot of damage. And this is the voice I use when I speak for my dog, Harry. Cause he's a fat cocker spaniel. Okay, so... Just one more bell's brunt. You saw that! That is not health worth living! Okay, so I defeated the junior trainer. Oh yeah, I deceived you somehow. Uh, better heal up Pidgeotto. Since the Lord knows he can't do anything himself. So I think there are no other required trainers. So if I just go over... Okay, there's one more required trainer. Er, two more. My super... Oh, bug guy. I don't like bug trainers. They're really annoying. They have caterpies. And they're annoying with them! So anyway... Use bubble, cause they're not even worth using water gun on. Ha! Huh, it speed fell, and it was already slower than me. Ha! Huh, now it's even wimpier. Okay, so, Weedle, Weedle, Weedle. It's a Weedle Pokemon, don't you think? I think it's too Weedle to battle. Get it, like, little. Okay. Venonat. Venonat. Darn it, I can't think of any puns. Don you Miyamoto! And your creative names! And Squirt Screw level 31! Withdrawal? Nah, withdrawal's not that good a move. It's really not worth it. And I defeated a bug catcher. Whoa, my bugs. Ew, is he Shino? Shino's cool, but not that way. Ew. So, I think that's it. There's one. Oh, I can dodge her. Cool. So what Pokemon are here? If I don't get a good Pokemon right now in here, then I will stop after my first Pokemon. A wild snake backwards appeared! And it got away safely. Man, this game is so easy. So easy. Compared to the Japanese version, because I can actually tell what's going on. And let me tell you, knowing what's going on makes it infinitely easier. So, I'm fit. Let's not exit, but let's go to Pokemon. Every trainer has a choice to listen to that voice inside. Do -do -do -do. No matter, maybe one winners. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! No. oh. No! I forgot to get the HM Flash. Huh. Excuse me? Uh... I'm going to speed up and go get the HM Flash. Because apparently I forgot to do that. So... See you in a bit.
Okay, so from here we go to Diglett's Cave. Now then, 26 minutes. That's more than enough time. So I think we'll be ending it off. Right? About. Not now! Let's continue! What a surprise! Diglett's dug this long tunnel! It goes right to. What a surprise! Diglett's? In Diglett Tunnel? Whoa. That, that blows my mind. By the way, that's a Diglett? I believe its evolution Dug Trio is the fastest ground type in Generation 1. However, I may be mistaken. Or maybe I'm just ma mixing it up with Electrode, which I know is the uh, fastest electric type, if that makes any sense mixing them up. But anyway, just going through here. I think I'm going to speed it up since it's all Diglets and Dug Trios. There's really nothing at all special, so... And plus, it's just a straightforward tunnel, no trainers or anything, so right now, let's go. Okay, so it wasn't that bad. I went to Rock Tunnel, but it's dark and scary. If Pokemon Flash could light it up... Oh, that is a hint, by the way. Oh, by the way, that's a uh, Viridian Forest. I uh, I went all the way back here, so yeah. Is there an item here? I feel like there should be an item here. <sighs> Guess not. Well, let's see. In here. A fainted Pokemon can't fight, but it can still use moves like Cut. Wow, really? I had no idea. A town map, which can show that we're right here at Route 2. And what lies ahead? Ooh, Lavender Town. I'm looking for Abra. Wanna trade Mr. Mime? That is an amazing trade, however, I'm not going to do it, because that would make things too easy. So, if we cut down this tree... Then... We can go in here and speak to another scientist. Hi, remember me? I'm Professor Oak's aide. If you caught ten kinds of Pokemon, I'm supposed to give you... Are you kidding? By the way, there's an HP up here. Are you kidding? Nine out of ten. I'm one away. Fine. Oh, look, Moonstone. Fine. I'll play it their way. I'll catch a Pokemon. Fun. I'm not speeding this up. I don't care if it's almost been 30 minutes. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna catch a Pokemon. Da, 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 da. I already found a Pidgey. I have one of those. Can I find something I haven't caught yet please Ooh, a weedle I want you weedle pokeball one two if you poison okay good one two mm. Come on. One, two, Weedle. 
I really don't like this Weedle. Do I have any other balls? No. Okay. Go, Pokeball! Uno, dos, tres! All right. Yay! I have ten Pokemon now. Ah, Weedle. Does Weedle know? Wait, can Weedle use... Cut? No. You're not even a good HM slave. What's wrong with you? Okay, so gloom. That move makes me feel a little gloomy. Get it? Okay, now give me my flash. All teachers have AIDS. Get it? Well, anyway. I got HM05. <laughs> And, uh, Flash. Oh. Well then. That's, uh... That's a little disappointing. Well, uh, I'm gonna go catch a Zubat, since I like that Pokemon. And, uh, I also like its shiny form, even though, uh... Even though there's no such thing in this generation. So, rock tunnel, I'm just gonna speed it up. Ah! <laughs> okay, so, just a little more. Here it is. Here's the Pokemon. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this. Bill's PC. Abra can learn Flash. It's time. For Epic Slave! Item HMO five Epic Slave I mean technically this isn't cheating. I mean sure I have a Mew, but I got it legitimately through glitches. There was absolutely no hacking involved. You can check in my audio list episode. So time warp. Oh, by the way, over here I didn't show it off. This is a daycare. There you can leave your Pokemon and they'll level up over time. So, just in case you didn't know. Cough! Oh! I've had this terrible cough. I don't know why. So anyway, 35 minutes in, it's time to begin the rock tunnel with my epic slave. And that makes things infinitely easier. Just, uh, just in case you didn't know. Wah 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 Okay, I really should have brought repels. Ah, this trainer, he's a pokemaniac. You heard it here first. He calls himself a maniac. I don't know what to say, I guess some people are just weird. It's super effective! Hey Cubone, why don't you make like your mother and go die? That could not sound worse! 
But anyway, Slowpoke, why can't Bite be Dark type? Miyamoto, why couldn't you invent that earlier? You just make it harder to fight Psychics. Psychics are so OP in this game. By the way, your main Pokemon should be a water type or grass type for this. Because there are a lot of rock and ground type Pokemon that you'll be seeing here. I can I can only go this way I wish there were no Zubats to fight What's with all the Pokemaniacs? And the slow pokes. Okay, I'm just gonna skip this because it's all bite. Well, I stand corrected, it wasn't all bite. So that's pretty cool. And by the way, War Turtle or Squatch is level 32 so I'm really getting up there who knows maybe I'll be ready to go against the elite four soon <laughs> oh wait holy onyx that was very unexpected I thought there was like a moonstone there Guess not. Okay. Enough. Enough of those random battles. And why are there grass type Pokemon in here? But yay for flinching. That is not even alive. Your Oddish is dead. Like creepy pasta dead. Okay, so one more hit should do it. Yay, I'm making them all flinch. Uh, I wish I had more to talk about. Uh, at least I'm better at Let's Playing than I was in my first two episodes. Remember episode two? Flashback, flashback. Uh, mm, let me just think about what I want to say. I can't play and talk at the same time, said past me. But now I scoff at myself. Ha <laughs> ha! Because I'm a much better Let's Player. Because I can talk to people now. Or in this case, I can talk to myself now. Hooray! And I can also avoid these battles. I'm speeding up any random battles. As you can tell. Well, this seems a little unfair. Or not. Or you can just let me go. Or whatever. Sure. I've got no problem with that. However, I am wondering whether or not it's a good idea to go this way since I'm kind of a little lost. Maybe I should have used a strategy guide. Nah. Is this it? Is this the end? Is it? I can't tell. Okay, I've had enough of these do- wait. Okay.
Okay, so I skipped that. There's nothing there. I have this odd feeling there's something right here. Bubble, bubble, bubble. I'm gonna put my bubble on your body. And it will hurt you. And I should not speed this part up. Okay, bubble bubble. <laughs> oh, you of all the places. Okay, so. These. Ooh, look, a wild Machop. I could use it and maybe level it up, make it into a Machop. Ma ma a blah 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 blah. A Machoke. And then trade it. And then trade it back and make it a Machamp and make it really OP, but I'd rather not. I don't like fighting types, they're too bland. So I know exactly where I am. I know exactly where I am, and the end is near here. Let me guess. I guessed right. I came this far for Pokemon. <gasps> Pidgey, Pidgey. Quickie, quickie, you're gonna attack me. Want to use bite? Not that it matters, cause it was critical. Okay. I made it out. And after 43 minutes, you know where I am, don't you? Lavender Town, the noble purple town. May the souls of Pokemon rest easy. Pokemon Tower. Do you believe in ghosts? Yes. Yeah. Really? So there are believers. Do you believe in ghosts? No. Ha ha ha. I guess not. That white hand on your shoulder, it's not real. This town is known as the gravesite of Pokemon. Memorial services are held in Pokemon Tower. Ghosts appeared in Pokemon Tower. I think they're the spirits of Pokemon that the rockets killed. And this is the town known as Lavender Town. Home to all Pokemon Creepypastas ever. And also home to our next challenge, the Pokemon Tower. Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Red, we'll be going up all the way to Pokemon Tower. After 45 minutes, this obligatory long episode is over. See you guys then.